And now we are outside in the Gilmore backyard. And as you look at some of this decor, it's Dia de los Muertos that is coming up. And um, we are going to learn a little bit of how to celebrate and kind of recreate some of the de great decor that they have out here. I'm joined by Nayeli. She is from La Cocina. She is the owner. And Justina, you're from Araceli Farms. Hello. Thanks for joining me, ladies. Yeah, thank you. Welcome. Good morning. You so, you know, Dia de los Muertos, I mean, the imagery is becoming more and more popular, I guess, mainstream. You know, we have yes. the movie Coco mm -hmm. and, you know, I, you just go out and you see the Halloween stuff, but you're also seeing Dia, Dia de los Muertos popping yeah. up everywhere. But there's, you know, there's certain ways you need to do this yeah. because it is like a religious holiday. Correct. So why don't you guys start off by telling me, um, you know, what, what are the main components when you want to do Dia de los Muertos? Yes, absolutely. So we actually kind of laid everything out here so that you can make your own. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll start over here. So the first thing that you want to do is um, create tiers, which we've done here with this crate. Um, some people do multiple tiers and it represents um, heaven and earth. And so the first thing you're going to want to do is lay out your deceased loved ones. So right now we picked uh, Cesar Chavez and then you put things that you um, that they liked. So, so this is like creating an altar, kind Correct. of a place that oh, you're yeah. going to Absolutely. So we'll pay do your respect. Workshops on this, um, and we'll get really in depth at Araceli Farms about the meaning behind things. So the colors, the food, the candles, what it all means. So okay. everything here is uh, you know, laid out to be here, put on the altar. And tell me, what is Araceli Farms? So we are a six acre lavender farm uh, situated on the outskirts of Dixon. So mm -hmm. we're certified naturally grown. We have 14,000 plants right now. Okay. So we have our hands full with lavender. But you, it smells really nice over there. Oh, it's like, so <laughs> it's a like, feast for the senses, the colors, everything about it. So we, um, our season's mainly May through July. So we open regularly. We'll have lavender festivals, you picks, all sorts of things. And then for the end of the season or off season, we'll have special events such as this one. And why have you chosen, you know, your lavender farm, but why have you chosen to celebrate Dia de los yes. Muertos? Oh, I love that question. So I think two great reasons is one, we want to really celebrate and honor um, Hispanic and Mexican culture because they play such a huge role in the farming industry. Right. So our farm would not be where it's at today without our crew. So this is just a really great way to pay honor to the people that are the backbone of the farming industry. And the other great reason is that we want to invite people to continue on the journey with us. So great. we've harvested our lavender and now you get to see what's next. So great. we're inviting people back. Very nice. And so Nayeli, let's bring you into the conversation yes, a little bit. Course, You're in the food course. department because yes, you I are am. the owner of La Cocina Mexican. Yes. And mm -hmm. tell me, how does the food play a role and what will you be doing at this event? So actually, uh, what we will be doing is that we will be selling tamales, pozole, and champurrado, and of course, pan muerto and conchas. Um, pan muerto and conchas have a big role in the Dia de los Muertos, only because um, it's, if you look at the pan muerto, it's kind of like bones. And Bone? Okay, so I was going to say it's bumpy. Yeah, it's bumpy. <laughs> so it's kind of like, you know, um, how should I explain it? Uh, you know, showing like the skeleton, the skeleton you know, okay. and things like that. And then the, and the tamales, it's a huge festive food. So you can, you, people use it in Christmas, uh, Dia de los Muertos, and it's typically one of their favorite foods of our deceased ones, you know? So it, so a lot. And, and it's all about like paying the respects and having, I yes. guess, those correct. moments with your um, loved ones who've gone on. Absolutely. Correct, correct. And then actually, so we also put, um, the water is a huge role as well because they're thirsty traveling back to uh, our world. Mm -hmm. So we give them water, we celebrate with fun, and then we feed them to strengthen strengthen them back over to I the love past that. world. And what's an event without, you know, food, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, it's it's essentially good food. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is, this is beautiful. Now I have a little um, insight on how I can create my own altar and, and the kinds of foods that I'm going to need to set up. So yes. um, tell me, Justina, where can people go for more information about your event? Our Facebook, our Instagram, um, our website. So free tickets are free. It's going to be a great event for the family. Make unique memories. Great things. And Lots when is it pictures. going on again? Tell me all the information. Yeah, October 26, 12 to 6 p.m. Um, we'll have all these different workshops and activities. Everything's listed out on our Facebook and Instagram. Great. Thank you, ladies, so much for yes. giving us a little more insight into Dia de los Muertos. Absolutely. You guys will be out there. Go join yes. them for this upcoming event. Yay. And have a great day, everybody. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a thank good you. day. Thank yeah. you. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.